go down here and turn around. We got a turkey strutting in the field that we got schooled in this morning. It looked like there was at least three long beards and there was just a ton of turkeys gobbling. All we had to come in was a hen, but we didn't really want to push the issue, you know. The less invasion, the better have low impact on your hunting area, especially when you got that many gobblers in one little wood line making that much noise. See the strutters to the right? They're going right by the tree. They're behind this little bush in the field, strutting. They're right behind the bush. Yeah, there's like fucking one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six heads. If you were sitting against that tree, Ned, you'd be killing turkeys right now. You'd be making a complete and utter mess that I would have had to clean up. But instead, what are we doing? Standing in the back of the truck on a fucking no. blind and decoys and decoy stakes and other boots and your trash. We're standing on your trash. When we could have been standing over your mess, it would have happened right there at 15 steps, dude. Turkeys are right here, flying up in the corner that they flew down out of yesterday morning. We were on that knob, that's where the hen came and beat up the decoy. What are they doing, Snyder? Well, there's, give or take, 15, 18 hens and three strutters. The hens are just starting to pitch up, and we're just going to give it a good watch see and make a game plan for the morning. But we got a damn good idea what's got to go on. All we got to do is hop the fence right here in the dark in the morning, go right over by where that split dead tree is, and it's money. It's just that, it's that little U right there that's kind of stuck into the side of the woods where they all flew up. And they flew down this morning. That's the X. We were off the X when we hunted by about 125 yards. What do you think about it, Ned? I think that they're in big trouble in the morning. Hmm. Woo! Locating a gobbler, folks, so difficult. Just so difficult. Don't even have to leave the truck. I mean, I don't know how much more spoon fed you want it to get. Easy as that, folks. Come get me. Come get me. What the hook gonna be, Carl? Hey, Carl Ray, what the hook gonna be? I don't know, we'll find out in about six hours, though.
Chilly, man. Um, rep flew down. Rep died times three. Full moon. Full moon. Started gobbling like four o'clock this morning. Good thing I got it in extra. Well, that's your true, real grand gobbler triple right there. We came in in the cover of darkness. We knew these birds were roosted right here in this little creek bottom. And it happened. We fooled them. Flew down right where they should have. Came right in, checked it out. It was awesome. It was a great show. You ever seen anything like that before in your life? No, that's probably the best hunt I've ever been on right there. It's pretty awesome. Can't beat that. Worth getting up at four in the morning for? Absolutely. 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 Here we are, Southwest Oklahoma, Kanati Creek Outfitters. Got me and a couple buddies out here. We did the two double bull setup. Roosted these birds last night. It was an awesome hunt. Birds ended up hitting the ground right where we expected. Came right in. We did the old one, two, three. We ended up tripling. It was probably the first triple that any of us have been on and it was awesome. It worked out perfect, just the way that you'd want it to happen. This morning we were running the silence contractor from Cartel Custom Calls. Birds answered it constantly, kept gobbling on the roost. They hit the ground, gobbled a few times, seen the avian X decoys and came right into about 20 steps. 